close your eyes and let's go with it. You know the tune, but you don't know the words. Consciousness. 
And if you're fully present in your heart, you will heal not only yourself, but all those you come in contact with. All true healers on this planet are heart-centered. John of God in Brazil is one of those beings who is highly centered in his heart. He's dedicated his whole life to helping others, to healing others. He gives of himself in an amazing way. He sees up to a thousand people in the morning and a thousand in the afternoon. And that's Wednesday, Thursday, and a Friday every single week. And he's got another center. That's just the center I mentioned. This man charges not a cent for his work. Not one cent. There's a one donation box, which I'll show you in a moment. And on it, there's a notice saying, no one may solicit or ask for a donation. It's entirely voluntary. You think of the money that's involved in the medical industry. You think of the amount of money that's absorbed out of society. There's a wonderful new movie I just saw the other day called Run, for the, from, Run From the Cure. And it's about this guy in Canada who's found a cure for cancer. The medical industry do not want to know. They haven't locked up. They don't want to know. They don't want a cure. There's so much money being generated. But the true key to healing is not the pill. It's a change in the state of your consciousness, the state of your awareness. And this time we owe it not only to ourselves, but to all the society around us to make this change. I run a workshop called The Shift Experience, and that workshop is all about shifting from a head-based, left-brain dominance of, in your awareness to a heart-centered consciousness. And that is the journey into healing. I want to share a few things with you on the PowerPoint, and then we'll show the movie. There's a quote that I came across the other day again from A Course in Miracles, which says, You dwell not here, but in eternity. You travel but in dreams while safely at home. You see, for most of us, we believe we've got to go somewhere in order to get our healing. We've got to go somewhere in order to become enlightened. We've got to go on a journey, we've got to buy some more books and DVDs, which I love because I sell those books and DVDs. So don't give up that misperception. <laughs> but the truth is that you're already healed. You're already whole. There's nowhere to go. You've just got to realize it. You see, you've never left your source. But you're dreaming. You've gone out on a journey of dreaming. In the world of mind, matrix. If you've seen the movie The Matrix, you know what I'm talking about. We're lost in the matrix. All you've got to do is wake up. But in truth, you are still safely at home. Now, what is this disease and illness that comes along and really rattles our cage in our life? Where does it come from and what is the purpose of it? And how do we get rid of it? <clears throat> we must understand that disease and illness is not something sent by the devil to smite you. It's sent by God to transform you. In fact, it is the chisel that chips away all the debris from your awareness to reveal the diamond that's inside you. That's the purpose of illness. That's the purpose of disease. It's not punishment. It's to help you wake up. So going to John of God, a lot of people go there with the intention, please take away the illness. Take away the disease. Get rid of the cancer. Not realizing the valuable gift in the disease or ailment that they carry with them. It's the chisel that chisels away all the dross and the debris and the dead wood. Let you be who you really are. So what's the point in getting rid of the tool until it's done its work? And the work is very simple. To get you to be here now. It is so simple. To get you to wake up. 